Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. An alligator is the focus of attention in the case of a missing Northport baby. Wildlife officers removed that gator from behind the boy's parents' home. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in Sarasota with the latest twist in this already bizarre story. Good evening, Jen. Sarasota investigators aren't saying anything about trapping that gator, but we do know they open it up. They had someone open up to check its stomach contents. This comes exactly one month since anyone has seen Chance. Standing next to a canal behind the missing boy's home, Sarasota County deputies and Florida Wildlife Commission officers worked to capture a gator. They set a trap, hanging bait on a rope suspended by a pole. They bagged what they came for, a seven-foot-one-inch reptile. An FWC spokesman stressed the agency had no reason to believe the gator ate Chance Walsh, but are examining its contents to rule out that possibility. The boy's jailed parents, Kristen Burry and Joseph Walsh, live steps away from the canal, which runs behind their backyard. Thursday evening, the missing boy's grandparents made an impassioned plea for anyone to step forward with information about Chance. Please, if you know anything, anything that could help, please share it. Share it on Facebook. Use your media and get it out there and help us find him. Frustrated Sarasota deputies tell me the boy's parents told them Chance died in a car wreck or they'd given him to a woman at this Augusta, Georgia motel. That woman's fiance tells us Chance's mother acted odd. I hate to think the worst, but why would you make up so many different endings of it to every different person unless you actually done something bad with that child? The boy's parents remain jailed in South Carolina on child neglect charges. They'll eventually be brought back here to Sarasota. Jen? Looks more grim by the day. Peter Bernard, live in Sarasota County for us tonight. Thank you.